investigate everything, and then Richard will give me a report. Where this leak is originated. We're not going to enter anybody's dwelling. It is a common area. Okay. Do they store stuff? Do people store? Do people legally store stuff? Is there a no. storage area that's long? There's off? a stor storage area at one end of the commons, okay. and they have a storage area in the back. Okay. And they're both locked or whatever. Are they, are they locked up? The, the storage area? Yeah. Yes. For each unit or whatever? Okay. Yes. And let me, you touched on, 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 on something. The buildings are not private. Right. Because we don't lock the front door. Okay. They're public. The only thing private on that property is the entrance to the is the mean? driveway because we maintain the truck. The town doesn't plow it. Okay. The town doesn't resurface it. We do. Okay. Okay. It is also public because the state of Vermont, we have to answer to them once a month for septic and water. So once again, I'm ask, asking the board is, could you please give Richard the okay to come with me and go into the crawl space? Unless I can answer any other questions for anybody. No. I'm just not sure why you need our permission. Uh, because he told me that he wants to he wants to select the board to tell him. Okay. Yeah. 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 I guess there was something that happened, not with me or with the commons, that he, he feels much better if there's okay. Someone covering his back. I get it. And once again, that's the only thing. I'm not going to ask you to get the constable involved. I'm not going to ask you to render the place uninhabitable like we had to do with Dale's unit. And, and thank God you guys helped us there. Um, we can render it uninhabitable uh, through our docks and our bylaws. Mm -hmm. okay. and so the only thing, once again, and I hate harping on it, is just did Richard be okay yeah. so we can complete this. Okay. Yeah. Do you want that today, or can we yeah. decide on the next meeting? Or no, I mean, we'll we'll do, do it now. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll make a motion that uh, uh, Dick Valentinetti is uh, allowed to go into the Angelo and inspect the property. The crawl space. The crawl space. Second. And thank you. Any more discussion? Thank you. And, and, and I'll tell you what, Sancho. Okay. I won't take this well, chair home. Yeah, we, have, we, have to, we have to vote for it. So, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. No, we appreciate your time, Angel. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, always a pleasure, yeah. and, and, and those yeah. meatballs, we won't consider those bribe at all. Yeah, right. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I haven't seen your Charles in a while. Robin Campbell. I was up there the other day. Huh? I was up there the other day. I must have been missing you. Oh, no, I was home. <laughs> I'll be there for the next three. I, I sell Red Baron Tony's and Burchetta pizza. Oh. Is this the, oh, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll let you know when I make a plant farm and meatballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. We can use them at the time. Okay. All right. Michelle, you here for? I am. Time? Oh, okay. okay. Yep. Uh, so, more fest is this Saturday. I'm here to see if anyone would like to be a judge in the cookie bake-off. And for an answer, it's a little different this year. There's six categories. There's one judge per category, so you wouldn't have to taste all the cookies, just cookies mm. in your category. Although you could, if you wanted. There's extra, I'm sure. And then, <laughs> and then right there. You could, you, could, you could taste whatever cookies look good. And then, so the judging would just be from 6 to 6.30. And then 
Each judge picks a winner of that category, and then Sarah Osher from Goose Chase Cake Design will choose an overall winner from the six winners. Oh, good. So, How many cookies in each group, do you think? Oh, don't you know. Know. We don't know. Yeah. So the categories are classic cookies, distinctive flavors, decorated delights, bar cookie bliss, nutty twist, and fall favorites. Who's interested? Besides me. What category would you like? Oh. <laughs> I have to choose a category. You need to I, I, read, read them again, I'm sorry. Yeah. Classic cookies, distinctive flavors, which is like anything other than classic cookies, decorated delights, like bar cookies, things with nuts in them, and then fall favorites. Oh. We'll try and make oh. the categories as even as possible. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try the fall favorites. Oh, what would you like? Anything but bars. You can, you can choose anything. anything else. You throw me anywhere. Okay. Um, distinctive flavors? What do you think? Sounds wonderful. I, I can't do it, I'm sorry. Okay, no worries. I'll stick Tom and your classic cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Tom told him. What? Tom told him. He already, he already agreed to do it. Um, when it was cakes. 6 to 6.30, eh? Yeah. Am I allowed to sleep on it and let you know tomorrow? Absolutely. Okay, good. No, I, what's the first one? Classics or something? Classics, which I put Tom in. I take him out. He's oh. not here. He's not here. <laughs> I can take him right out. Tom. I, <laughs> I might go for the classics. I just let me make sure. I'm going to have cookie. someone cover my tables that I'm involved. Yeah. And the other thing too, since it's just one judge per person, if you want to bring a friend in to like help you, because there's there's it's just you making the decision, feel free. So like I could get Lee's to help me. You something. could, yeah. Okay. If you want to split up, if you want to, but you're you're the person picking. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, so then I'll put Tom in bar cookies. So you spots. still need three more. Two more. Oh, okay. I'm gluten free, well, dairy free, so I don't think yeah. I can help everyone. Is, <laughs> um, isn't uh, Dr. Mike going to be? I'm gonna, I'll reach out to him. Okay. I always like to ask the select board first. Okay. Yeah. And then go branch out to other town. And right, so I go to Okay. Nice. Um, so that'll be fun. There's a nice yeah, prize right. back. 6 to 6.30. 6 right. to 6.30. It shouldn't take long because okay. all cookies will get put into different categories. You know, and there's no real criteria because it's not like cakes where, you know, it's it's really a judgment call, to be honest. Like, some people like crunchy, some people like chewy. chewy I, yeah. There's no criteria, it's just what you like. So, Sarah, as like the professional baker, she'll Judge choose the, the, you know, she'll be the tall Hollywood. She will too many problems or something. So the category winners get a wooden spoon that's burnt, it's got more fest on it, you know, like a wood burn like last year. And then the overall winner gets a more fest baker's battle apron and hot pot that staples stitchery designed and a gift certificate to Goose Chase cake design and some other little goodies. So, nice. so if you're not a judge or if you are, feel free to enter. And if you are a judge, feel free to enter a different category. Um, that's all I had. Um, the other thing we wanted to check. Johnny, out, by the way, is going to try to come up with a cookie, even though it's not his specialty. I, you know what? I'm sure it will be unbelievable yeah. and he'll yeah. 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 you know, right? you can't. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Say, make him a judge, right? What? Should. Make him a judge. <laughs> we should. Um, we, we had a meeting yesterday and we talked about weather, so we're not expecting. It's a beautiful week. There is some weather forecasted for Saturday. We're not expecting it to be terrible, but you know, based on the summer that we've had, do you have any thoughts about uh, at what point we should call it if it gets yeah. concerning? Stefan's gonna get, he's getting a weather report from the National Weather Service on Wednesday. Yeah, right now it's saying 50% chance. Yes, yeah. we don't, it, I'm sure it's I know. Be fine, oh, yeah. just in case. Yeah. We thought we should have some sort of plan. One would Lightning you, one, or like torrential rain or any right, sort of flooding. Yeah. 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 Well, it's hard to know with thunderstorms, so. Yeah. 
But if you get like a huge downpour for five minutes and yeah. then it's done, it's done. Yeah. Right. then, I mean, definitely like thunder or lightning, I would say, because it's... Now they've moved it to 60%. If the National Weather Service report That's looks concerning, we'll forward it to Sasha, who can forward it. So, like, he gets a, like, he can request an official one. So we'll oh, see what that yeah. is. Seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll see with that. Well, when you think it, that probably by noon you'd have to get it out there? Mm -hmm. that it was being... have to put it out to, you know, the radio and, the, and all of our... So Front Porch Farm doesn't come out until the afternoon, then, right? Yeah. It's not without It's sporadic. Yeah. Yeah. wonder how you can... I'm happy to use our library social media. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, we're not, we're not expecting that to happen, but... Yeah, no, it's good to have a you know, plan. Yeah. And then the very last thing is um, we're going to write up some, because Morfest has gotten bigger every year, this year after the event we're going to write up some policies and whatnot, and then we'll run them by you just so we have a guideline to go by. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. And that's it, unless you have any questions for me. No, I think there's no? There a lot of you know, people are excited about it, I think. Oh, it's going to be great. Like yeah. Yeah. So the Friends of the Library are selling mac and cheese this year. Yeah. The pig roast. Mr. Yeah. Dingaling will be there. All the vendors from last year. Good. If I could volunteer, I'll let Sasha know. Awesome. I'll be there anyway. I mean, volunteer to be a judge or to be a judge. Yeah. 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 Or a general, but not. Yeah. Yeah. Could be on Saturday, yeah. So. No pressure, though. You know. If not, if you don't, you know. Roll through, try cookie. <laughs> you know, you can do it unofficially. Yeah, no, it sounds good. Oh, all all right. right. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks Great show. Me. Thanks for doing yeah, Thanks for doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm here for old business. Yeah, oh, she's here. Okay. She's here. Oh, okay. We can get to, I don't know, old business or okay. communications. And Sounds good. I figured it was going to be a quick night, so that's why she's good. She's here early. Uh, okay, animal control ordinance. I don't know. Are we just approving here? That's right. Yeah. And Wasn't the la latest change was that if you don't have your dog on your property, you need to have the one? Yeah, the one yeah, change was the taking out the lengthy thing about um, what is at large or whatever it was, and it's the same as whatever the definition was as before. If it's not on your personal property or public property, then it's roaming at large. Mm -hmm. But that was just making it more concise, and that was the attorney thing. Everything else I think was fine. So I don't know if we move that it goes I guess. to town vote, or is this just up to us to decide? It's up to us. Okay. Uh, well, then I make a motion that we approve the animal, new animal control ordinance as written. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor, say aye. Roof, roof. Aye. aye. Yeah. You want me to sign? I would be happy about that. He just asked me to stop on the road and asked me the other day. Just now he's got to write tickets and stuff like that. I finally got corrected the other day. Well, I got corrected. It's stuff that's not stuff on. Yeah. Yeah. Stefan. Yeah. 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 I don't know that. I have, since I met him, I've been uh, saying Stefan. I don't know how to pronounce Stefan. I probably did pronounce it Stefan. Yeah, no, it's uh, fine, but uh, he's totally used to it, you know. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah, his mother to sometimes yeah. to say that to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like me. I respond to anything but Kaylee. <laughs> okay. Kiki? How about Kiki? Okay, let's go on to reports and communications and announcements. Sasha? Um, Cheryl will be in the paperwork for you guys to look at the greater um, on your oh, schedule. Yeah. 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 She needs a motion so that she can start the financing of the staff. Okay. And I think the chief is one of them. So let's 
se uh, Northfield Savings Bank can offer 10, 12, or 15 year fixed rate of 5.35%. And Community Bank, we've ended up coming with most other things. Um, 15 years at 4.93%. Um, and that's, years, yeah. Yeah, and that's Sherlin's recommendation. Okay. <clears throat> sure. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll move that uh, <clears throat> we approve a loan from Community Bank for $394,900, 15 years at a rate of 4.93%. Second motion. Any more discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 It's mm -hmm. still on target to be delivered by the yeah. this fall. Yeah, this fall. Okay. I haven't heard any different. I just want that with our in production, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's great news. 15 years, great news. Yeah, that's voter approval, so it's a win win.
Central Vermont Regional Planning, who's one of the people heading up the whole thing about the market grants. And we, you know, it was very informative, and we learned a lot about the big upcoming grant of five hundred thousand dollars that we're going to be applying for, and it's going to be sometime in October, November, or January. Or January. January. But also in the meantime, we've filled up. We have filled up the paperwork or the you know online for the three buildings. Our three buildings to be have an energy survey, okay. which they're going to do. But we also, as you might have heard or understand, we did get a grant for four thousand dollars that we now have. So in talking about that with Sam Lash and working with. Uh, uh, Dara, who's you know our energy pool, mm -hmm. pool. Yeah. yeah. We are so one piece of that is using some of those funds and Corey will jump in and help me if I'm you know not getting all the details. Um, using some of those funds in conjunction with a an event that we want to do at the town hall, which would be like an energy you fair, nice. the fair okay. that would show not only what we're talking about for energy upgrades in the town hall, but also would have information and an educational piece for people what they can do in their home. And we would combine that with also showing people about what's going on at the town hall and we're working on having, you know, local folks, you know, in our community who would do food and maybe a wine tasting and you know, some local Moortown musicians, just sort of a, an evening, at the, not an evening, it would be from 4 to 7 at the town hall. Yeah, like mm -hmm. a reception kind of. Yeah, just, you know, like, hey, here's what we've been working on for the last three years. Mm -hmm. We can also, from talking with Sam, would use the grant monies, and, and this is the other piece of, the, the, you know, what we reviewed with her and what we thought we could do is we need to um, do a top, top, topographical survey of the town hall, of, you know, in order to finalize, the, you know, the design, you mm -hmm. know, some designs. We did include that in our, you know, our going into this design development phase. We've only, we've only uh, approved just that next phase of the architect's work. Right. So, it is not that we I got some proposals from three, three different survey companies. Well, only two. The third one I haven't heard back from yet, but from two, and the one one of them is the uh, Gilson Land Survey. They're in Waterbury, and her cost to do what we you know what we sent out at you know an RFP to do that work and also identify the flood, 500 and 100 year flood rate. A whole bunch of stuff that's maybe a little more complicated than we need to get into right now. But we can use, well, what I'd like to ask or propose, and from what we understand, all of the, all of the above, part of this $4,000 grant to cover the cost of the survey because it's part of the redesign and the water mitigation to the building which is causing the problems that we're having in the basement and energy use and all that. But that coupled with also doing the this program from what we understand would be, you know It fits within the parameters yeah, of that capacity. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so um, what's the what was the RFP for the survey? Did you get that back? What was the cost of that? The cost of that I have, I'm going to send everybody the proposal when I get home tonight. Okay. But that's um, $2,500. Okay, so you got 1500 for your... So, you know, we're, we're pretty confident that we can cover, yeah, it's twenty five, And she outlines her whole scope of work, which was identified with uh, the architect and the civil engineer um, of what the work needs to be. We had another bid that was 4,000, and if the guy had to do a, another piece, he was going to be in the 5,000 range. Okay. 
So that's my, that's the story on that. And it would be really, it'd be great to go ahead and know that we could go ahead with that because the sooner we can get the survey thing going, the sooner we can get to some of these design decisions made and keep trucking to be ready for the late fall, early winter grants because we have the, and I always get this wrong, what's the library the grant, how is that, the library, what's this? called, I think it's called the Capital Grant Program, but it's right. two different pots of money. One's ARPA and one's uh, Housing and Urban Development or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's for libraries. When's the next meeting? What's the meeting and when's the next meeting? When's our next meeting? Are, you, are you, we looking for an answer on this tonight? I would love to get one tonight, but if we're feeling that we can't, um, I mean, it's just. Until, I love yeah, it. I mean, until the survey work is completed, we're kind yeah. of at a standstill with the I design. I don't know if we can do it with one or two RFPs, or do we have to have a third, or is that. Oh, three, no, you're saying three. Three proposals. Three proposals, right. Do we have to? Well, we, we've sent, I've sent, I actually sent it out to four people. Okay. And two of them, one person came back and said he couldn't do it. The other person I haven't heard from, uh, who is also a Waterbury engineer. And then the other two, you know, I've gotten um, quotes from. Can we do them okay. separate? Can we do them separate and just give you the 25 for the topographic survey right now? Oh, you're talking about the uh, the, the, the energy piece, yeah. Oh, oh, we don't need to decide on that right now. Right? Oh, well, I think we know not really, but okay. how we want to present when we go to, um, as I understand it, when we go to apply, for the, you know, for the grant, for the right. spending of the grant, we need to demonstrate what we're doing and how we're hitting, on, you know, what we're doing to okay. uh, well, spending that money. In, yeah. in talk, when Sam was talking to us about utilizing this capacity grant that we uh -huh. already have, she was just suggesting that um, the survey work fits within the parameters, but if we could combine it with some um, energy outreach, like what Daryl was interested in doing, right. that, would that, that would be... Kind of tie it in with the energy yeah. piece as well. Right. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, then... Motion? Can I make a motion? Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. I, and then I make a motion. We take the four thousand dollar energy survey grant and use it for our topographic survey as well as an energy fair and the energy fair at the town hall. Maybe yeah. you want to call it an event, just because. Yeah. I okay. Don't know. Event. Yeah. Energy event. Energy event. Or yeah. Okay. That'd be great. At the town hall. At a date to be determined. Uh, well, we're trying to uh, do that for 1014, actually, is when we're trying to have this event. Okay. The town hall event. And amended to say an energy event at the town hall on October 14, 2023. Yes. I'll, I'll second that. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll follow up with the information about the different surveys. So. <coughs> yeah, great. Right. Yeah. Help yeah. me to, to get, you know, to get it on our schedule. Yeah, yeah. we need that. We need that we can move forward. So, yeah. Right. That seems reasonable. Thank right. you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have my boxes out there too, so I'm just. Right. Um, you want me to keep going with another thing that I have? Sure. Um, so I send you all this uh, road, the uh, committee, the road safety. Yeah, road safety thing. Our uh, road safety committee. That's not good name. We now have four different names. I think we've settled on this. Yeah, one. I think road safety. Um, and so with several of the folks um, on this committee, made a, a, a lot of Joyce and then Tom Shannon, our constable. We wrote this letter based on, a, on how the a letter to, that comes to the select board, and then we, we have select board. We send it out to the Vermont Traffic Committee. There's a whole in the end. There was a lot of pages. There was the Route Two part of slowing traffic down. There's the Route 100B and through the village all the way to Route 100, and then the last page is a is a a detail on how we 
plan to do it? How do we sub we sub submit it to the state? Okay. And then the state holds a hearing, and a public hearing, or they do a study and then they do a public hearing. Okay. So what I'd like to do is do the first step and, you know, maybe everybody can, uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to read it or, you know, a little nighttime reading tonight or something. Okay. But what I was hoping to do, and I think I could still do it if you is that we're going to have a, a table at Moorfest. Okay. And uh, with Tom Trinette and some of the other members. And trying to, to uh, get some signatures because there's going to be like a signature page of people to support that people, you know, in yeah. your town and especially on Route 2 or okay. on 100B you know, or in the village, you know, can sign. Okay. So I, my hope is, is to be <coughs> able to start that process, you know, at Morfest. You know, people, you know, we're going to, uh, Tom's daughter, a 10 year old daughter, is going to make a little poster, okay. you know, on the table. And uh, John will be over there at some point when he finishes eating his cookies. <coughs> a few of our other members, his old chair, will we'll be chatting it, you know, we'll be chatting it up a bit, you know, we're trying to get some signatures, you know. <laughs> and also we'll be talking about some of the other things. Frontier Town? Frontier Town? What's that? Frontier Town? Oh, yeah. Frontier Town? Yeah. So we'll be there and we're both talking about this and as well as some of the other stuff we've been working on or trying to work on. One of the things on our agenda to work on is speeds on some of the dirt roads. Yeah. You know, like for instance by your house. Yeah, so we, we want ours there. to go up to 50. <coughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the bikers away. <laughs> it can be done. The bikers and the joggers. No. Oh. Uh, anyways. Now, um, so you're going to have both petitions, right? Yeah, both letters. I wouldn't both call letters, them. Right. Yeah, both letters, right? Yeah, both. Yeah. At the at the right. fence. Okay. Right. Um, I mean, to show people, or maybe they or oh, they can take a minute to read it there, or they can say, yeah. we can email it to them to read, or, yeah, we'll you know, we'll find, you know. And then just say, you know, we can read it and say, My hope was, my hope was for the, for the Route 2 one, was to send it to um, Jennifer Duran, the head of the Gallagher Acres Association, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and or the two women who came, the families that came in here for the school yeah, yeah, study yeah, for the yeah. sidewalk. Mm -hmm. I got their emails, they sent them to Sasha to send to me, so I was going to reach out to them to get, you know, that neighborhood yeah, reviewing it and signing it. Yeah. You know, it's going to be a little while before we, you know, submit it. Right. Because I think it'll, I think personally it'll have more uh, legs if there's a lot of people. I think it's going to be Yeah. Um, so, uh, that's my spiel on that. Okay. I, uh, I noticed uh, yeah, and the input would love some input, yeah, for sure. Let's see. And if you want, you can email me something tomorrow, John, or call me up or whatever. Maybe we'll have some more. Well, I think, I think it's just a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Well, I think, I think if this is going to be at more fest, you know, we, we should approve it. Okay, but we could, yeah. right, but if you had, if anybody here gets a chance to read it tonight, or yeah. tomorrow, and, you know, please call me up or email me and say, hey, here's a sentence that's either wrong or you ought to change or okay. <coughs> whatever. You know, we've done that with a few people. I mean, on the committee. Yeah, I think we can make you saw something that, that it took me. Yes. Yeah, we might as well give it a shot. I, I honestly didn't review that one yet, okay. so I can't oh, I, that I did. Okay, well, maybe later tonight or tomorrow. I coffee. certainly will read it. you have coffee yeah. tomorrow morning. And I'm willing to make a motion, you know, on a general thing. Yeah. Like that. We approve well, what you present. All right, so Route 100B North changed the speed limit to 35 miles per hour before the intersection of Routes 100 and 100B. And then dropped to 30 before Council of the Farm. Okay. I, I believe that should be on Route 100. Oh, on Route 100. 100. Should be Route 100 North, Route 100 North. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. And then change to 100B North. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, I see that. You're right. 
And then yeah. it says it down here, but as right. a title right there, it's not clear. Right. And then, um, and that's good. And then it says, from Camel's Hump View Farm, north bound speed changes should mirror the south bound changes described above. So well, these that's... changes are north bound. Yeah, no, no. It's, so that's back. This is this back. Okay. Okay. South bound. Good, good, up. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I see that. So you're proposing to drop it to 40 before the intersection? No, right now it is 40. It is 40. It would be 30. And people go into that section 40 plus. Oh, okay. okay. So we're trying to say you can drop it to 35 before the intersection, which is just past the farm. Which is just past the farm. Not, not, not Camel Sun View Farm, right. right next farm. And that way, and that way if somebody does run the stop sign. What? Uh, that way if somebody runs the stop sign at 100, off the 100B, then they're only going 35 technically, right? Well, right. yeah, I mean, it's, that, it's a tough little place to <laughs> It know. is a tough area. Someday, I don't know if any of us will be around to see it, but I would think that someday they're going to put a, a rotary there. Or something. Right. Where do they change? They won't put a track. Where does it change to 40? By the camels? By, no, no. When you, if you were driving to Wastefield from here, uh, you go 30 through the village, yeah. and you come through over the bridge, yeah. and you go through past Freeman Hill Road, right. Right. and it actually changes to 40 there. 40, yeah, free, just past Freeman yeah. Hill. And, and then the it goes up the hill, and the 40 through the intersection. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's Jerry and, uh, So just with that change, I mean, that sounds fine. Now, if you say, if where you say matching the other one, okay. I mean, you can't do that because from Camel's Hump View Farm, it's already 30, okay? And you can't go up to 35 and 40. Oh, no, 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 it would be 30. It would well, be 30. that's not what it says here. It says 35. It said to match the changes. Before the intersection above. and then drop it to 30 before Camel's Hump View Farm. No, no, no. The second one. From Camel Hill to make the south the change you should mirror change, the south. Oh, okay, so this should be clear. Okay. Yeah. So it should say the 30 to right. the, to the right. yeah. To and the, I would also. Just say after Camel's on View Farm. If we're asking for 30 um, before Camel's on View. Yeah. Okay. Then I think that through the curves, we should request even lower than 30. Yeah, I don't know. The, if we I do that, or, yeah. I mean, we have to or, maintain the road. Yeah, that's the trouble. When you go to 25, the state, you, you, the, the, the state um, you, it right. becomes the town's responsibility. Oh, okay. to 25. Can we get the town? But oh, no, you're saying know. just the curves, the way we just have it now. Yeah, because right. that's system. not, that's recommended. Right. Can we get the state to chip in on the signs to say, you know, to put up those think, little yellow I think you're curves? Doing no, the state does, Permanent. they do okay. signs. For recommended. Make a recommended speed. So for the orange sign, not yeah. the way it's The orange sign. Right. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the warning sign. Yeah. Suggest the curve as a bridge to the speed. 25 for the curve of the bridge. Yeah. 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 It's tough going great. down that hill, I'll tell you. It's no, but that's hard. great. And it's a suggestion. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. People know. You go to this. Perfect. There's a real reason we're telling you to slow down because it's dangerous. Right. Okay. Well, I'll okay. Make those yeah. changes and and uh, great. Wait, is this, that's yours. Why is there a cemetery? Because there is not a cemetery. No, no, but I uh, know. But who's? What is that? I think. Is this John? Uh, so can we make a general motion that if we accept it to be a more costly the change is proposed, or do we have to wait for him? No, I, I can make those changes. Yeah. Yeah, no, but but yeah, yeah, before I think our the, next meeting or I mean, yeah. what, what's, what you have here is the committee presenting something to the select board. Exactly. Okay. And so bottom line is we have we have to approve it. Right. Okay. If you're gonna display it on Saturday, we have to right, approve exactly. right now. Right. Right. Okay. Right. That's, 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 that's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I was just reading. Yeah, requests for such a study need to come from the town select board and should be sent to that's to Ian Dick Dice. You know who that is? Mm -hmm. 
the operations and the safety of your work. So, anyways, that's what we, yeah, so I'd like to make a motion that we approve these slowing traffic letters for Route 200 and Route 100B. Um, and then we send them to the state traffic for whatever operations and safety bureau. With, with these signatures? With, with, oh yeah, with after, after signatures from residents of the town. Second. Okay. Any more discussion on that? Okay, if anybody sees anything glaring. Yeah, please. Yeah, no, I'll go back and read it tonight. Yeah, if I see something out of order, I'll definitely yeah, throw a red flag up before Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. do it maybe by Monday. I don't want to be idiots, but I don't want to Try to do it by Thursday. I know, try to do it by Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> so I can make the change. I'll do it tonight. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right, so all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Okay, my last thing. No. Yeah, no, I have one last thing. Everybody, I, I went, I finally, after biking by, the gentleman um, yeah. at the end of Pony at the beginning, or at Pony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. We did, we did folks there. Yeah, so. I did stop last. I finally spotted someone there and talked to the gentleman. And he, I asked him to please come to a meeting with his partner. Um, and they, he's, he said that he's spoken with the sheriff. The sheriff has come there and talked to them. And they went over where, they, where he parks occasionally. Mm -hmm. And the sheriff told them, you know, as long as you're this side of the mailbox, it's okay. I said, yeah, I hear you, but it's really tough for a lot of, you know, the neighbors. Or, he, goes and, and he goes, no, I understand it. We're trying to, you know, work it out. He goes, it knows in the winter that they absolutely can't park there because of, you know, plowing and snow removal. And um, I was thinking about it after I saw him last night, actually, it was going back again, seeing if he could somehow, where he parks, if he can get, do some work on the, the land right there so that he could get more of this, you know, he's, the road comes down like that. They're right. Kind of, they're kind of like right here, but it could get over this way more. But anyways, they, they know about it. They're, they're trying, and I thought maybe they would come to tonight's meeting, but maybe it was too short of ours. But I'm hoping they'll come to the next meeting so that we can all chat with them. Okay. And they also want to talk to ask us about because, um, and I said, yeah, you should definitely come and talk to the board. Because there's a street light like right across from there, right across from them, and their land sits up, and the street light there, and it's like just, I don't know when these folks moved in there, but they said it's just dry, it's absolutely unbearable. Because one, it affects the stuff they grow, because there's a light on, and one affects the stuff that they're growing, because of the light. You don't know. You know, I, I, I don't know. That's what he said. You know, vet, food and vegetables and it's whatever they street, grow. Oh, I thought you meant like a stoplight. No, 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 it's a street, street light. light. Yeah. Yeah. And it also shines right into the house. So at night, yeah. it's really, you know. Uh -huh. and, and, you know I, and I go, oh my gosh, I never really even noticed the street lights. You know, none of them do. Yeah, I, I never noticed them. Right. right. No. So maybe yeah. there is something. Maybe oh, God, we don't have street lights where we live. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. I, know. Yeah. I know. Well, I saw a lot. But maybe there's some kind of bath or something. Yeah. The, uh, the street lights are uh, state. They, they probably have to town. Are they state or town? It would be state because it's, yeah. I think it's a state right? Yeah. I mean, the I state mean, puts the street lights in? We didn't put them in bathrooms. No. So Well, interesting. I said, well, we look at I said, if you don't ask, then yeah. you don't know. You know, I said, I'll bring it up, but I don't sure. know how we, you know, where we go from there. But anyways, they might come in. They're aware of the problem. They're trying to do their best. They did go over with the sheriff, and I said, well, so well that still that. I mean, we we already didn't we point out to them that that was not correct. Yeah. The so, sheriff's the sheriff, the sheriff has no jurisdiction there. Okay. It's a well, town right of way. Okay. They are yeah. clearly parking in a town right of way. And you know, 
fine. I, I hope they do come in. No, no. But I, bottom line is, it's just a matter of convenience for that. There's plenty of this room for four vehicles up there. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I can see what they say. They all leave for work at different times, so they're trying to jump over the vehicles. Okay, well, I got at least first step was I talk to them and they are going to come in, and I'll stop again because now I'll say, okay, you should come in. Yeah. Okay, thanks for doing that. You know, they seem nice. They're being more fast, so if I recognize them, I can introduce you to them. Maybe you don't want a cookie outside of this. Yeah. Well, I plan to get people in the building for sure. And um, that's it. Oh, that's it for you? That's it, yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. Kelly? So I don't know what we did last year when this happened, but there has been a vehicle parked in the middle of Lynch Hill for about a month. Oh. Like, right in the middle? Right in the road. People are going around it. Um, it's not a local person. We have no idea who it was. They oh. basically went up there, it died, and they left, they left it there. It. Um, Does really, it have plates on it? I don't know. Oh, okay. So I haven't seen it. I've just heard from multiple people that it's up there. People are going around it, which is starting to make a road right. around yeah. it. Right. Um, okay. I'm really surprised people haven't smashed the windows out and stolen stuff. It is a diesel that's got a programmer in it, so I'm really surprised uh -huh. no one's stolen anything out of it. Um, so I don't know what we did the last time that happened, if you actually had something towed. Because there was a vehicle up there last year that sat for like three weeks. But this is probably been a month. Did we send the state police there or something? Uh, no, I would say that would be Tom Chenette. Yeah, well, I think we you should, should uh, yeah, you know, find out who, who it belongs to. Yeah. Yeah, we have a guy who is. Well, it's either plates or van or something. Yeah. Or yeah. we can get the police to call, right? Or yeah, something. Get the, yeah. Well, if it's not the place, there's a vehicle ID yeah. number. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be registered somewhere. Yeah. yeah. That's how it was. How can someone I mean, how do they leave the vehicle? I mean, the what's our legal, what legal right do we have to tow? I mean, do we have to post it in the right away? It's in the right away. Yeah, way. Right it's in the right way. But it is not a local person. Like nobody around right. knows who it is. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Well, I think we should look into it. Maybe they're not Because I mean, Stefan's been up there. Good. So, if Stefan's been up there and it had something identifying on it, I'm sure he would have. Yeah, it grabbed it. it. So I have a feeling they. Swipe the plates and the bins off. I mean, the bins on the inside of the door. Oh, the door, it's right. It's up there. And it's, it's locked. By the window. It's locked. Wow. Right. It's probably wow. unbeatable or whatever, right? Yeah. Well, wow. I'd say we make every effort to notify the owner and have an income. It's going to cost a hundred bucks or something. Yeah. Well, they have to pay for it, huh? Yeah, they have Come to pay for it. Right? I mean, you yeah. just maybe get the snow plow up there and just plow off the road. No, I like just have an income. Oh, just I mean, at this point, it's affecting the people are going yeah. around it to use. It's, it's right. to get to the vehicle yeah. blocking the public right away. If it was sitting in the road right out there, we'd have it town the, the next day. So I think that's what we should do. Hmm. So I don't yeah. mind reaching out to Tom and saying, hey. That's what it's I would do. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that would be the first step, and then Tom would probably have to maybe call the sheriff and the state police, I guess, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need to do, yeah. I would say, you know. I, I'm more than willing to help. That's our side of the hell. I mean, if I you know, you want me to make a phone call to anybody or go beat somebody up there and say, here's a car, you know, that's not a big thing for me. I'd say, don't, don't, why wait? If it's been there a month, I would 
drop them all on the floor. Right. Tom, yes. Well, Tom would be a good first thing. Because next thing you know, it's going to be winter, and then it's going to be stuck there all winter. You know, well, I don't want that. You know, you know, I don't want that. How far up is it? I don't know. I haven't been up there. Oh, okay. I'll check yeah. it out. Yeah. I haven't been up there. All right. Well, let me know if I can help. I certainly am willing to help on that one. So, I mean, it's just, if we're talking... <laughs> We're talking about opening up the roads to ATVs, and it's it's stuff like this from the people who don't live in the area. Yeah. That they ruin it for everybody. Right. Right. Exactly. And it's not even an ATV; it's a vehicle. Yeah, so, that would be old. Yeah. Oh, it's a regular vehicle. Yeah. Oh, you haven't done this stuff. Uh, it's. I don't think it's super old. I don't think it's either GMC or Chevy because it's German. But I'm really surprised nobody has stolen anything off of it. Yeah, the rims and tires so are on there, the windows aren't smashed out. So, which uh, I'm really surprised. Yeah, absolutely. Especially for it being in the middle of the road. Okay. Uh, so I will, I'll reach out to Tom. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's probably in your best interest that somebody does tow it out of there and before it does get destroyed, because the uh, you know, pound guy doesn't get a decent car at that point. Nobody's fixing up. Okay. Anything? I have to, anything more, Kelly, on um, the, uh, the camping on Route Two? The only um, person that I found a contact for was. Um, had natural resources, and that was more just picking up trash. Oh, yeah. It wasn't the camps themselves. Okay. But I did finally notice the one right off the road. Yeah. Because oh. yeah. I don't usually come that way, yeah. and I looked, we went by a couple days and I was like, oh wow, they really got a setup there. Yeah. They have like an open and closed sign, too. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, I hope they're giving massages <laughs> on their cup. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, that gave me a reaction. Yeah, because Tom said he had not heard back from Dara on that and said he will call again. Five more things. I tried to count them today. I'd, I'd say maybe a total of five tents. Yeah, yeah. But not five more. Yeah, or, right. I didn't have a number in the last few days, but there was, yeah. it was a good, it was expanding into the right. woods more, like, yeah. you know, yeah. as opposed, there was like one primary one kind of right on the outskirts and then. Right, the big square kind of, one. Yeah, kind yeah. of moving yeah. their way yeah. back or whatever. Was there still someone on the beginning of uh, River Road? Yeah. Right? Yeah, this is that guy still mm -hmm. to Definitely, yeah. Okay. So what were we going to do about that situation? Which one? The river? The river? Yeah. Tom was actually calling BSP. Okay. I don't know how it came out, but okay. he's working. Okay. okay. All right. We've got that, I guess. We won't think of it. We'll move to it. Okay. Um, Robin, did you have uh, No, I don't have anything. Okay. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's approve the minutes then. Say aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> and let's see. The only thing I had was on the, the cemetery.
So this has nothing to do with the accident? Uh, I think Sharon was just giving you that information because the LCT said that the town isn't liable or doesn't own heads. Right, mm -hmm. right. Um, I think a front porch forum post came out that they found the driver. Oh, they did? So hopefully that's going to fix all of it. Oh, okay. What happened? Uh, it was an accident. Somebody drove to the cemetery and the, the village cemetery. Up here, on yeah. the tourists come to yeah. too fast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and it went actually into the cemetery. Yeah, yeah. and it's um, damaged uh, some of the monuments. And, um, and then they left the scene. Oh, yeah. they, so they tracked them down. And so that That's what I heard. We're, we're assuming that this person is going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that what that is? A quote that fits the story? Yeah, that's what looks like here. Yeah. Not it's liable, it's so. What's in their accounts for the cemetery? It's what? It's what's in the accounts for the cemetery. Oh, if they were to, if they were to repair that. Oh, okay. Gotcha. If they were decided that the town was liable and they needed to repair that. But if we're not liable, why would we not assume responsibility and the lease? These are funds that we have. These are, yeah, these are yeah. cemetery funds. Yeah. Oh, so okay, right. We would, I guess so if the driver insurance. doesn't have insurance, and we, we want to help the cover it, we want to help, help them in yeah. a way, would that be something that the town's insurance would be able to cover, though? That's what no. we found out. The no. town's insurance does not cover health. Okay, because when because it's not down for it. Okay. So, which is the which is the village? Oh, these are just the these are the four accounts the cemetery has. They have two CDs that are. Oh, okay, okay. And then they have those. Two so they don't have. Funds. Okay. That's funds mm -hmm. that they have available. Right. Yeah. If yeah. we decide that we want to. Okay. So that's seventy-two thousand. All right, well, I guess we'll How many monuments were destroyed, destroyed or we don't know? Just mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So let's move on to old business. And we have the easements to deal with. Okay. They're still being. I see. Okay, well, I saw it. They were given to Tom got that one to Helen Brown. I have right. not heard back from Helen's attorney. Okay. And then, so the other one is still in the lower Well, the other, the other one. I'm sure Helen came across something today, too, that yeah, the, the, it might avoid the whole thing. Yeah, no. The wording that was on it? That, yeah, no, because it's, that was for a water line. These are all other ones. So. Okay. <clears throat> um, I mean, that's what that's what Nick responded with that they were for what ones. Okay. <clears throat> so at any rate, um, I took a look at it. It looks pretty good. So these are the easements right. for the church and for uh, Brown. And Yes, Claire, sir. <clears throat> and I know there's a, a progress meeting of the um, Stormwater Committee on Thursday morning. <clears throat> That's what they got to do out there. Yeah. Okay. Well, Was that Thursday? Working hard yeah, Thursday morning at 7. I'm sure they're working hard to get ready for more fest to be yeah. cleaned up out there. Yeah. They're already working out there. No, unfortunately they can't clean too much up because of the easements. I don't know how much, I don't know what they're doing here, so on the more Thursday. Okay. Anybody else have any old business? 
new business. Okay, and we'll sign away. Northern How's Ray doing with all the FEMA guys? Anybody heard from Ray about FEMA people? No. What's Sorry, never said I signed the front page of that. Oh, the, this one? That, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was last week. Yeah. Well, I did 
did it once. Was brutal yesterday. I did once. One up. What is Stacked it? it. Came back down. Did another one. Came back up. Started stacking. I didn't have one load the third one because I must have looked terrible. And Nate was like, just watch the elevator. So I got to stand in the door. Oh. Uh, so uh, but I mean, every time I laid out, people were all over. Yeah, it's hanging, right? Yeah, I work for him. Yeah, no, and everywhere you go, I mean, the people are just trying to get those fields cut. I mean, it's been wet all summer, you know, and it's been good all summer. Yeah. You know? I mean, he doesn't have, like, picked up barely any first cut. Yeah, the first cut was like first cut was yeah you know I know I've been reading I think the first cut was just to try to make the second cut grow <laughs> like, right, right, you know. decent amount of combo. some of these places don't yeah they don't have enough they don't have enough hay or, I don't know what the like Scribner farm I mean they lost fifty percent of what they grew in the corn that's not Scribner's that's Dufres oh Dufres I don't know. That's where, nice. wherever near the yeah, there they were out there. yesterday. They were crazy. They were the barrels house is fine and gone. Then right there, the excavator took it down chunk by chunk. Every freaking thing they had, mm -hmm. just horrible. And you have to be careful when you do that. What's that? You have to be careful when you do that. When they get rid of everything like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, well they did a pretty good job. Well, that's that. the house. I mean, they well, separated all the metal and this and that. But well, they, have to be checked for asbestos Far too away. after a certain time. Your entire belongings just to watch an excavator. That's the house of the Like dressers and all of this. Yeah, they're brothers. Yeah. Yeah, they're brothers. Yeah, they're brothers. Yeah, they're brothers. I signed the catering permits for Woods <laughs> Farm. And then here's the fire contract. Oh, well, Waterbury. Okay. And that we also.